What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with more WWE action figure news. Yes, this news actually just sprung upon us today, actually. Ringside Collectibles posting up some new images, and sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes you're just chilling at the house, or you're chilling somewhere, and bam, you get hit in the face with the reveals. And you know what? Sometimes it's a great day, and sometimes it's a bummerific day, but today, I think we have some really good stuff going on, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these images and discuss them, man. We are taking a look at brand new WWE Ultimate Edition images. Images, and they are of the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 17 Seth freaking Rollins and Andre the Giant figures. Now getting into these figures, man, let's start things off with Seth Rollins. Now we did have that one mock image of the figure back, uh, I think it was like last week or something like that. We had the one from Wrestling Shop UK and I did discuss in that video, I said, you know what, we're probably going to see some images of this guy loose very, very soon. And what do you know, Brad? It happened. So here we are, man. This figure looks really great. I am enjoying what we're seeing here. I think you got a lot of great great stuff going on with it. I like the way it's packaged. I like the head sculpts. Eh, we'll get into that. I don't know if I like the head sculpts. But I like the torso choice here. The legs do not look skinny like I originally thought. I remember back in that video I discussed about the about the legs. I said they may be a bit too skinny but I think I, I am pretty much, I nailed it, uh, the nail on the head when I said that these head sculpts pretty much look like previous head sculpts that we've seen before. The yelling head sculpt looks a little bit new but it kind of has like Elite 93 plus Elite 52 style Seth Rollins facial recognition kind of going on. That one with like his head grinning or like his teeth gritted looks identical to the SummerSlam Elite figure head sculpt way back in the day. It's like the exact same sculpt they just replaced it with long hair and then you have the you know the kind of straight face going on and that head sculpt looks pretty much identical to the head sculpts we've seen for the last few years. I think it does have a little bit better likeness but I feel like the beard's pretty much the same. I, I like it though. I think this is great. I'm definitely going to be getting multiple versions of this. Maybe an AJ Styles situation and maybe a Brock Lesnar Ultimate 15 situation just for parts and things like that. See, the things with Ultimate Editions, man, is you're not going to get them on a clip like an Elite. You know, Elites, they come at a faster clip, so you may be able to grab a different version of Elite Seth Rollins, but then when you're looking at Ultimates, man, they're not going to be pumping out another Ultimate Seth Rollins for a minute, at least until the fan takeover comes out, and we have no idea what the formula is going to be and all those things. So, if you want a tight Seth Rollins with good head sculpts, you got this fur coat in here that looks beautiful. I think they nailed the gear. I love that the crotch mold has the actual sculpt on it. That right there is massive, man. You could take the paint off of that and use it as a base Seth Rollins. There's just so much going on here that I love. I like the formula and everything like that. One thing I think could benefit these smaller figures like Seth Rollins and you know, guys like, you know, we've seen it in the past with like Bobby Lashley's elites. We've seen it with Roman Reigns, I think. We've seen it with certain guys. They always give them like the more muscular deltoid muscles at the shoulders. I think you could really benefit a Seth Rollins and some other guys if you were to give them that. It's not something we've really seen, or at least it, I'm not noticing it. I like the black wrist tape. The fur jacket is fantastic. Head sculpts are solid. We're definitely going to be using this guy as a base, and I really like this torso. Now, I can't tell off just first glance if this is the Rick Rude torso. I think it's the Rick Rude torso, but again, I cannot fully give you that until, you know, a later date. I can't see it at this juncture, so, like, I don't have my Rick Rude right beside me. I guess I could grab it really quick. So, looking at the images and then looking at this guy, I can't, I still can't tell. I think so. Yeah, I think it is the right one. I think it's going to nail it, man. I think, yeah, I, I, I think this is going to be pretty diggum good, man. This figure is going to be sweet. I think just the, I think the body proportions look good, man. This is going to be great. I even commented that maybe they should use this torso for HBK, you know, maybe down the line when we get another HBK or Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition, maybe they'll put this one in there. But overall, this is a fire figure and definitely going to be one of my top Ultimates of the year. Like when you, when you look at this year for Ultimates, man, it's going to be really fun when we rank them at the end of the year. And this ranking is going to be tough because you, you guys know we have AJ Styles, we have the Seth, we have other figures coming down the pipeline. I mean, we have a lot to take into consideration when we look at Ultimates, but it's all going to come down to feel in hand, how I feel about the figure in person, all those things, but diving into the other side of Ultimate Edition Series 17 is going to be Andre the Giant, and actually saying Series 17 of the Ultimates, first of all, it's crazy that we're already, you know, we're up there to 17, but maybe another ranking video, ranking all of the Ultimate Editions. I know that we ranked them in terms of, like, go buy it, and we did it a ranking video like that, but that was a while back before we even had the Jeff Hardy fan takeover Ultimate Edition in our hands. So maybe that's a video we should revisit at the end of the year when we have way more Ultimates in our hands, but this Andre the Giant, man, looks like a beast. I, I love this. I think the formula's great. I know people are going to be using this as an Ultimate Edition big show. I can already 
actually see it. Slap a couple decals on there, put a head sculpt. You're going to be looking at a beautiful Ultimate Edition Big Show, but he's got the cloth goods. We did see both of these figures at WrestleMania Access or the WrestleMania Superstore in LA, so that was really cool, but championship looks good. I remember, I think Steve told me that this is going to have a running change where the championship is actually going to be black, so I don't know if you're a men on card collector. Maybe you got it, you know, you're a completionist. Maybe you want the men on card with the black title and a men on card with the blue title. I guess that'll be your own prerogative there, but I am digging both of these figures a lot. I think that the Andre the Giant is definitely a necessary addition. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is a, an absolutely necessary figure, and I remember I think Mattel has pretty much done every Ultimate Edition that I had on my wish List. I need to go back to my wish list and I need to redo it now because I think in the last couple of times I've done a wish list for the Ultimate Edition line and what I wanted and specifics and things of that nature. Probably need to do that down the line anyway, like a new a new Ultimates wish list, a new Elite wish list, and make those into their own videos if you guys would be interested. But I think Andre the Giant was on there, Roddy Piper was on there, Seth Rollins was on there for a long time, Roman Reigns was on there for a long time, AJ Styles was on there, Randy Orton was on there, One Night Stand RVD was on there, 2001 Kurt Angle was on there, so they have pretty much done everybody that I thought that, you know, that should be done, and they have pretty much got up to that. I don't know if they watched it and were like, okay, let's just check all these boxes, but that's obviously not the case, but Eddie Guerrero, I think, was on there as well at a point, so this is great, man. I, I love the Andre. It looks even better in these images. I love it. I think this is the best Andre the Giant action figure ever made, and uh, that's it just at first glance, of course, but I love that they both have cloth goods. I love the, the Seth Rollins. What's going to be interesting to me is I can't tell from here. I know that the belt is sculpted on Seth Rollins, but I wonder if, like, that textured pattern on his legs is sculpted. I guess we'll have to see about that, but this looks great, man. I'm really digging it, and I cannot wait to get these figures in hand. If we're getting the loose images on it, I would imagine these are probably going to be hitting relatively soon. Like, Ringside Collectibles should be getting these, and if that is the case, man, you definitely want to go get your pre-order in so you do not miss out on this. So definitely go pre-order these guys. Use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10% over ringside collectibles when shopping over there, of course, but I am in love with both of these figures. I, again, I'd, I'd probably go with the Seth Rollins over the Andre just because I'm a bigger fan overall than Seth. You know, I didn't get to witness Andre. I didn't get to see him do all the things that he'd done, but of course I will be respecting Andre forever. And I think that he's obviously a legend in his own right. But I'm more hyped for the Seth Rollins. I think, you know, as far as usage rate added to the collection, I love Seth Rollins. He's he's one of my favorite current guys going. And this is going to be a really fun figure. And I think we could even take this fur jacket and maybe put it on some other guys. So I'm excited, man. This figure is going to be bomb. And I can't wait to fix him up, do all the different things we're going to do, customize him. It's going to be incredible, man. But that is going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Had to post up the news. Had to get it out to you guys. So leave me your thoughts down on these Ultimate Edition Series 17 figures. Huge Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to these guys. I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. If you guys are interested in the Patreon, giving away an Elite 100 Rey Mysterio this month, so definitely go check that out. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. ProWrestlingTees.com slash MyDamnToys. Cop some merch. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. I always do that, man. Two times. It's all I always do it twice. Why? Whoa.